Hello, hi there Virgos, I do hope that you are gorgeous and well. Welcome to my channel, my name is Bella and most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic and this is your love horoscope for February 2019. If you're watching me for the first time, I'm a psychic and I do all my readings intuitively with the help of my spirit guides. If you'd like to know more about me and my services, the links are just down below. Okay, so shall we dive right in there? The first message that my spirit guides want to give you is that something that you're expecting or waiting for when it comes to your love life sorry guys it seems like it more manifests in march than it does this month that's the first message they're saying there's delays with the energies of the other person making this right <laughs> so this is either if you're in a relationship already where things are a little bit stagnant a little bit weird a little bit off basically it's going to pretty much remain that way until march if you're waiting for somebody to come back reconnect with you and it's been a bit you know, weird between the pair of you it still feels like there's it's just delayed if you're waiting for communication from somebody feels like it's going to be delayed until march somebody is tying themselves up in knots somebody is just not ready i often say to people not ready not ready fully baked you know in the oven basically and <sighs> Also, I get for those of you where you're with somebody where it's long distance, maybe you expect them to come and see you in February. Again, it's been shown that it's more likely March. There is a delay and it's their energy that's delaying it. It's not you that's delaying it. Um, my guides are also wanting to express in this month to not take it too personally, that delay, because some of you may feel like that person is just not caring, um, that they don't love you or that it feel for you, that they don't want you very reasonable normal thoughts to have when somebody's delaying something but what you get and what you're desiring sorry guys feels like it's going to be delayed until march in the meantime for some of you virgos there does seem to be some distractions that do seem to be popping up or coming up in this month romantically now some of you may be doing that because you're fed up or waiting on the other person and so there are other interests coming into play um which do seem to be a good distraction for you. I don't get they complicate things, so I don't get that these distractions are going to deter you away from the choice or what's being offered or what's being delayed. It just becomes a choice for you in March for you to make. But there is extra interest. So let's say, for example, you've been separated from a partner for a few weeks and you've been, you know, back and forth with some conversations but it's not really been moving anywhere you may find in this month you just like well it's new year new me i can't wait anymore i'm gonna date because i've just taken it personally like i said you'll date somebody and you'll be quite happy and it will go quite well um also too and then in Feb in march that person comes forward then you get to make a choice it'd be on your terms instead of you being the man or the woman waiting in agony so one would argue it's a beautiful distraction right now and also gives you choice it's not like this other person that you're waiting on to you know, bring things forward you're allowing them to have the choice necessarily if that makes sense um oh, i also get because because this person will tell you mostly or maybe they just won't at all but they most most workers they will tell you that they're delaying their visit or delaying progress in this forward um, they will tell you in this month by the second week I get that in return <laughs> you tell them some home truths also too because you're quite frustrated or upset or tired or anxious by this some of you will also feel like you want to say this because you might feel like you want to just get them to hurry up so some of you will probably tell the other person that you're dating with the hopes that it speeds them up it won't um it doesn't slow it down either i have to say so you can you know, again this is you your month your prerogative your words your everything don't be worried about what you say because it doesn't change anything for the better or for the worse so if you're doing it with the hopes that oh i'm going to tell them that i'm starting to date somebody else because it might hurry them up it does not but it also doesn't stop it or ruin it either you do need to know that um if that's the path you go down some of you may be very, you know, this, this could apply, you could be in a marriage and you could decide that you want to talk to somebody else just because you're missing some closeness or connection or intimacy. Whatever this is for you and however it plays out. I, I, firstly, I get here that you will voice your concern that something is not picking up. 
basically so i.e if the intimacy has gone out of your relationship and you've said to them i need that to come back they will say i'm not ready yet and you'll be like well i am <laughs> and i'm really concerned about it i get you just voicing your concerns in the third week but 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 as we get into the fourth week just as we're about to cross over into march which feels like a much better time for things happening it does seem there's a little glimmer of hope that you start to see the first taste of that manifesting in the fourth week for you albeit it doesn't happen until march there is something in that last week where you're just just as you were not believing me or them or anybody that you're just like ah this feels like they're saying or doing something that is an indication of starting that whole process also too so it's a month where you know i don't know it's like a frustrating month i'm not gonna lie virgos where you're just basically for some of you feeling like you've got more of the same and not wanting to wait just slightly how you was in january in terms of some independence energy um and i don't think that's a wrong thing to do because nobody wants to watch paint dry and in this instant with this other person that's exactly what you'll be doing and it's torturous and do speak your mind like i said it's not going to do any harm but whatever it is you're expecting from somebody or a situation or even dating seems to have better luck for you in march than it does this month i'm so sorry so i do hope that that's been helpful for you to navigate this month successfully with clear insight so that it doesn't drive you crazy and i will be back again in march with another new reading take care